Ladies and gentlemen, sunrise on a new day in Forever Stranded. Welcome back. I don't know why you're here. I, I, you're right next to the lava. It's probably not a good place for you. Get down. Good. All right. <laughs> we uh, did some really good progress last time. If you followed me, we uh, we have good power now. We have this baby running. Actually, we should check how it's doing. It might be full on. Oh, it's way far from full. It's actually being... Eh, it's emptying out now. Couple of cyanide ingots. I don't know. It is hot. It's producing 104 RF per tick. Alright, well, whatever. We're using up more power than we're making, apparently. Not a, the biggest of deals, to be honest, but... <laughs> Alright, never mind. Anyway, we are we have a reactor. It's gonna be cool. We can put more fuel in if we need, we can expand this thing if we need. And we also got this little setup going, which is accelerating... Actually, this is online, which it doesn't have to be. We might switch it off, but we probably need to use it more this time, because... Hi. Hello. Y you really must like me. Yes. Anyway, we got into Applied Energistics too. We got a first quest done making a whole bunch of these more difficult crystals. So we can take a look at Technological Revolution. We did starting up AE2, which leads to a couple of things. It leads to AE2 power, so an energy acceptor and a vibration chamber. Pretty good stuff. We will definitely need those. And then basic AE which is an ME chest and a storage cell for it. Oh, and we get a heart. We get a heart from that. Oh, that's so good. We're going to start with the other one, though. And we're going to do uh, energy acceptor and vibration chamber. Energy acceptor. We've made one of these before. <laughs> so, yay. Uh, quartz glass. I know we have that somewhere. Question is where? Apparently not there. Might be in here. This is glass, regular, boring, old style of glass. All right. Once we have our emery system up and running, this whole kind of deal will be so much easier. Because I won't have to keep doing this over and over and over again. I'll just search in a lovely little interface. It's not there, I'm pretty sure. It might be in here in one of these. I know I have quartz glass somewhere. Glass pane. It's not in here. Quartz glass, we only have two. <laughs> well then. Alright, so we have some stuff to do. Probably, though, at this point, before we do that. So we have four stacks of Certus Quartz Dust. That's no problem. So what we did last time is we set up, so we have these babies. This is constantly sifting compressed gravel. And up here... We're smashing stuff. Let's climb up. <laughs> We're smashing stuff here into uh, into sand. And then we have another thing up here that is smashing sand into dust. Which is awesome. So up here we have dust being gathered. We currently have 63 compressed dust in there. Which is sweet because those produce some resources when you sift them um, that we really need. Problem is, they are just gathering here now, that was a stack. <laughs> um, and we are not sifting it. And adding all of these smashers and stuff is probably why we were losing energy, by the way. So we might need to build out this reactor earlier than we thought. But just making another sieve and one more, you know, one more heavy sieve and then hooking that up to the whole system with a filter is going to be so good. So let's do that first. We have five stacks of broken iron ore here. So if we just take four of them like this and just make a whole stack of uh, dust blocks like that, we'll throw those in our smelter. If I can even... Uh, alloy smelter, there. <laughs> so much stuff here now. Um, this will quickly smelt all of those up for us because these, if we go out here, this is a heavy oak sieve. Okay, we should probably just reuse that then. So, if you look at these, 
auto sieve. Uh, the heavy one is two. Oh, it's steel even. It's two steel blocks. I thought it was iron. Right. It's two blocks of steel and two steel ingots, which is a lot of steel. And then some glass panes and some random stuff, which we had somewhere. I know I saw glass panes. All right, we have eight of those. We can make two. Um, so steel, we have 60 of them. So it's not really that big of a deal. So let's do this. And let's grab ourselves this. And of course, the one piece that I wanted is the thing that didn't get picked up. So now we should be able to make this. Good. Auto heavy sieve. Perfect. And I also got an iron mesh with almost no durability. So I guess we can throw that in there for starters. Uh, let's just do this. Can't be bothered. Oh, uh, actually. Hmm. So this is inserting on blue. Hmm. So currently we're pulling out on blue out of this and inserting on blue here. Yeah, maybe we can put this next to it. Let's do that. We'll put that next to it. And we will not connect that up because we don't have any item ducts left in our inventory. Item conduit. We are going to need two more of those. I think two is enough. <laughs> That's maybe silly. I should probably have taken more, but whatever. Cow! Why are you climbing ladders now? You're like, you're everywhere where I want to be. You're on the cable. Okay, fine. Fine. Be on the cable then. See if I care. Alright, go up here. Connect that up. We're going to... Can I... There. Extract on something new. I think... We light gray. We use, okay. Gray channel. Always active. Uh, basic item filter. And I'm going to need... One of these guys. That was a compressed dust. Good. And we're going to throw that in here. So we only get compressed dust, whitelist, uh, out of this thing. Always active, on gray. Good. And now we need to go all the way down here. Because this thing should have power. It has power but no mesh. So give it a mesh. And then we hook it up like so. And we insert on gray. There. It got compressed gravel. Should not... Okay, there we go. Now it gets dust. Perfect. And uh, actually, we want to... In and out. So insert on gray. Extract on something. What's the inserting channel? We're inserting on green here. So this is the controller. We're inserting into the, that on green. So everything that goes out on green goes into the system again. So always active there. And it's pulling all these things out. Awesome. Uh, dang. Uh, we're going to need filters here. Because I just remember that we are pulling out... Drawer, the sand. Iron meshes are also getting pulled out on blue. And so, signal color red. So, we kind of kind of need these to be the same channel. Or we can maybe move the item filters. So we have an item filter here. Checks for compressed gravel. Uh, if we switch this off for a second. Never active. Take this item filter out. So now we're pulling out compressed gravel on blue. Inserting it into here. So if we put that in here instead. So we insert compressed gravel. But now we've blocked out the meshes. Mm-hmm. So we're going to go get a mesh, put this in here, get ourselves some mesh, there's eight of them still in there, okay, perfect, uh, I need to get up here, I need to look at a jetpack sooner or later, okay, so, uh, what is this getting its things from, is it blue too, okay, so that's blue, insert into, as blue, we might need a, might need an item filter here too then. Probably do, actually. Dang it. Alright, but anyway, this one. Come on. There. 
needs to also have a mesh in there. Match metadata, no, that's fine. So this one will accept iron mesh and compressed gravel, which means it should be getting them now. No, because we didn't switch this on. Uh, we are going to need to make more item filters, though. So those are a hopper and some paper. We might be out of wood, actually. We are out of wood, actually. We're going to need to chop some more wood. Which maybe kind of means plant some more wood first. How did... what? How? Okay. Somebody left me a flower. That's a very nice gift. I, I have no idea where it came from. I have no idea. Why is there a flower there? But uh, thank you to whoever mysterious creature left me a flower. Maybe it's from watering stuff? Okay, that definitely did work. I wonder if this is going to kill the flower. It might. It didn't. Okay. So we're going to make... Two item filters out of that. Should cover us for now. Uh... Uh... Let's go up here. We need to access this thing. Which on its insert needs an item filter. Whitelisting compressed gravel. Which we should be able to steal from actually from in here. Just borrow that for a bit. Yeah. Except I have no space for anything, so just throw things on the ground, I guess. There. Pressed gravel back in there. Pick these back up. Oops. Okay, so now, if we go here, we should be able to switch this on, always active, without it, like, emptying this thing into nothing. Hopefully. That doesn't appear to be doing much. Is this being filled up? Yes, it is. It's out of power, though. Cool. Are we really out of power? Wow. Okay, so this thing is also being filled up. But we're out of power. Wow. Is this thing still running? It's producing 90 RF per tick now. Alright, okay. See if this works any better if we put in additional fuel. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Inlet mode. Let's put one in there. Let's see how this looks. It's okay, yeah. So I guess we want to keep it more full. That's 100% full. We're producing 200 RF per tick. That's much more. And we'll just do outlet mode, uh, eject waste. That, that will be injecting when things need to be ejected, I guess. 230 RF per tick, is this... No, still not enough. <laughs> wow, okay, we will need to expand this thing, but... Let's just leave that for now. Because we still have things to work on here. So this, instead of doing an item filter on this up here, and extracting on gray, we're gonna switch this off. Never active, switch this... Ooh, so many colors. Switch this to blue, take out the item filter. Oh, I'm cold. Why am I cold? How am I... Oh, my temperature regulator is uh, is low. Do I have a battery here or something? That I can... Uh, yeah, here, okay. Let's put this in here. Does it charge at all? It doesn't. Ooh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> here on this one we're gonna put in our item filter and we should also accept meshes good uh, but on blue 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 there all right white listed iron meshes and compressed dust on blue that goes in here uh, so this if we just get few <laughs> more power here we should now if we switch this on always active we should now be getting stuff into this so this is now filled with compressed dust. So we're sifting both, assuming that we can get enough power to sift both. Which we currently don't have. 
lava generator. This is full of power, though. That isn't connected to the the energy grid at the moment. That's a problem. If we can fix that, we might... Well, we're, we're going to be better off. Uh, and I have too much stuff again. All right, so energy conduits. Do I have some? I had at least one. Yeah, I had a bunch. Let's grab a bunch. Uh, so, can we do just this, maybe? That worked. This is just draining of energy now. It's producing 45 RF per tick, though. So we increased our capacity by 45 RF per tick, and we also increased our uh, current status... This doesn't charge because this isn't charging, though. Why is it not? In, out. Always active. Oh, it is charging. It just didn't show properly. Okay. This mesh broke, and it got a new one. So we are, we're really good to go now. We're going to charge this up, put it back, and then, uh, then we're ready to keep going with the ME system. We're going to have to expand our generator by a fair bit, though. Uh, and we might actually just want to build a new one, <laughs> completely new one, but we'll see. All right, well, with that down, we should be getting plenty of materials, and we certainly have plenty of this sort of quartz dust. So we're going to grab a stack of that, and then we're going to see... We had glass somewhere. I think that might be in here. 15 glass. And now we can make this stuff. Yes, make a bunch of that, because we're going to need a bunch of that. And now... We can make our stuff, so we need a vibration chamber. That's an energy acceptor and the stuff. So we'll need this first of all. This is a flux crystal or a pure flux crystal. Yeah, preferably the flux crystal then. Make the energy acceptor. And I'm gonna we're gonna throw out this stuff just because I wanna check in the quest. Yes, it does say that I'm complete there. So, good. And now we can keep working on making the vibration chamber, which is furnace and some stuff there. There. Inventory space is hard. And now we did that. Okay, so we got the AE2 power quest done. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make a chest or something and store some of this stuff in. Because I am running out of space everywhere. Can't even pick my shears back up. How's this looking? That's also full. Does this this chest over here? Here. Okay, we, we can... Okay. Hold on a second. Whew. Alright, and now we can accept this quest reward. Uh, well, let's pick up our shears. We're gonna need more wood. One of the trees have grown, so that's great, but uh, we get a pure... two pure certus quartz from that, but also a loot chest, which is... that's the good stuff. Um, and the loot chest, let's look at that. We might, we don't have enough space for that. Okay. Change the plans, we're gonna go chop down a street. <laughs> iron chests, good. So two iron chests, now we can put gold around those. Like that, if I counted things right, yes. And now we can make gold chests. There, two of those, and then for these we need four diamonds in total, and a bunch of... Hmm, okay, we're gonna need sand. Diamond chest get, all right. Perfect, finally this should... Okay, let's just stick that down here. And that's so much that just disappears off the edge of the screen. Which is possibly, possibly not a good sign. We're just gonna put a bunch of this stuff in here for now. Sort of all the materials that we're using for the AE stuff. Broken shovel. Alright, that's better. Now we should be able to open this loot chest without overflowing. Uh, steel boots. More lost capacitors. Yeah, it's pretty decent stuff. Nothing super spectacular, but... So let's again take a look at the next thing, which is... Basic AE, which is an ME chest and a storage cell. That's the real good stuff. Alright. ME chest. 
But that is a terminal, two pieces of glass cable. These are just any glass, I believe, a flux, crystal, and iron ingot. So basically, we need a terminal and glass cable. And glass cable, you need it anyway. So we need quartz fiber and flux crystals. We're gonna need more flux crystals, though. Because these are these are gonna be these are gonna run out quickly. How is how is our quartz supply looking? We have seven. Just grab four of those. Uh, and then we have one charged Certus Quartz. Hmm. All right. But we can also get it from sifting sand. That's the one thing we're currently not sifting. So we should probably be sifting that then. Because we're running out now. So, let's just make a whole bunch. We're going to need a whole bunch. We, we can smelt more sand. Alright, so with that done, we can now make these. Flux crystals, two of them, makes a couple of these. Alright, for the terminal, we're going to need a bright a new uh, a panel, essentially. A formation core an annihilation core and the logic processor. So for these we need a whole bunch of other stuff going. Uh, we also need this vibration chamber to do that and we need an inscriber I think to make those things. So inscriber is two sticky pistons and iron ingots and a flux crystal. Make a couple of these I guess let's not make more than we need. And then the question is, do I have anything that can be used as a slime? Um, or do I have to actually get slime? I might have to get slime for this. What's this? Reactor fuel rod. There's just so much stuff everywhere. Or the auto sieve. That works. We'll just put an auto sieve up here. Am I cold? I'm cold again. This thing. The amount of fuel, the amount of... Yeah, okay, so this is... Alright, we have Eulorum in here too. Okay, never mind. We'll, we'll, okay. Put this in here. That puts us up as high as we can. Put this in here. I'm feeling a little bit like maybe I should take off this this armor and start using some other armor. Because this isn't... I, on the other end, it's enchanted now, but... We don't really need the cooling effects of this anymore. We're, we're getting cold. Yeah, this isn't char charging at all. Whoops. What can you do? We'll get to that. This is producing as much power as we can. We need more power though. We'll get the sifting thing done. So I just need to temporarily set this thing back up again. So if we put that up, it's right next to here. That has no mesh, but it's fine. We'll put this in and that in. Because this doesn't... Ooh, wow. Uh, this is eating up a whole bunch of power, probably because it's first along the line, but whatever. Slime ball. Why are you not finding anything in these leaves? Okay, ice cubes, which are, as far as I know, pretty much useless. You can make ice charged and gelled slime with them and turn them into snowballs. That's basically all. And these gelled slime were only used for the armor, which we don't need anymore. So, yeah. Okay, we're pretty much done. Another thing broke. We'll turn this to never active and just let it come use up whatever it has left. I'll go back here, not to that one. Go back here, I guess. Um, we were making something. Inscriber. That's the one. For that we need a couple of these. <laughs> Without pants. 
and then that should be good enough. We have an inscriber. All right, so uh, let's just go over here for now. We'll place the vibration chamber here. We'll place the inscriber right on top of it. Uh, we're going to get some stuff to dump in there. Like a stack of coal, because we have 13 of those. There. Five, six, eight per tick. That's good. The inscriber now works. Good. All right, so now with this, we're going to need to make a whole bunch of things for this chest. I think maybe we didn't even need that. You need annihilation cores, which are these. Uh, the required logic code processors. Yeah, that's an inscriber. But first, before we do that, we need these, though. And they are printed logic circuits in printed silicon. And this is this is easy enough. We have the conduit binders. Uh, silicon. I'm pretty sure we have that. Skystone dust we are getting from sifting. Or we can make it in an inscriber from an inscriber silicon press. And Okay, this. But these can't be made. Basically, can't be made. You have to find them, and I don't even know if they exist in this world. Um, so, never mind that. But basically, we need these, which are okay. And then we... Oops. Then we also need... Um, let's see. These. Printed logic circuits, which are these. Silicon. We'll have to look into our silicon supply, but I believe we have a pretty good supply of that. But then advanced circuits, which are these things. So we're going to need a whole bunch of glowstone, redstone, lapis, and uh, these insulated copper cables. <laughs> yeah. We need a whole bunch of stuff. Eight stacks of copper. All right. We're doing pretty okay on the resources. So we should be able to get that done. It's just going to be a little bit of a mess doing all of these things. And I think for now, pretty happy with the setup. We need to be sifting sand. That's the only thing that's missing. And then probably need to do something about this reactor because it's not good enough to power all of our stuff. Even with all of our lava generators online here. Generating 45 RF per tick as well. It's not keeping up, so we probably want to expand this to something reasonably much bigger, because these components aren't, in all honesty, all that expensive. If we can get this to always generate enough fuel to always be sifting all of the things, maybe even at the top speed, then we're so good. So, so good. And uh, we'll get all of the things to power this baby as well. We are not using up fuel all that quickly right now, so it shouldn't be a problem. But that will be next time, ladies and gentlemen, on Forever Stranded. And maybe we'll even look into getting some new pants. This has been Sliced Lime. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.